I have to apologize. I don't know what went wrong, but it wasn't anything you may be thinking of. My page has gone more than that, so it cannot be flagged. <laughs> it cannot be disturbed. My page has gone more than that, so don't think otherwise. Nothing negative. Something went wrong from this end. So that's why I cut it off. Something went wrong from my end, so I cut it off. But it's displayed, so I didn't delete it. I want to appreciate you. I want to welcome you. Your love is immense. It's invaluable. It cannot be bought. You understand? But the, 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 the issue is that it wasn't flagged. So don't think otherwise. <laughs> I basically, something went wrong from this end. So I took it off. But I posted it already. You know, so it wasn't what you are thinking. My page has gone more than that level. So it can never be flagged. I'm looking at the issue of parental responsibility. The question I'm asking you today on Tokumbo Lagbaye show this afternoon is that can a mother kin, you know, can, can a mother take a child away from the father? That's the question I'm asking. Let's look at it together. Does a, child, does a mother have a right to take the child away from the father? What right has she got? And what is the right of a married father towards his or her son? You know, of towards his son rather, you know, or his daughter. So let's go look at it. Let's look at it in depth and see how you guys can um, impart the knowledge today and contribute. Your, 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 your contribution is important, it's invaluable. To this particular topic, I have faced a lot of uh, questioning over the past seven days or eight days. Last Friday was the last time about perhaps that I did something similar of this nature. But as you, and you will know that I have a lion heart and I'm fearless. So I have responded back to the young man that came to ask question about his wife or ex-wife that he's having prob that they are having problem together. Um, my job is quite different from what people are thinking. Honestly, honestly, you see, when you are among the crowd, you have to do something to stand out. You don't go, you don't copy people. You understand? You don't copy. You stand out gallantly and do something different. And that's why you see Tokumbo Lagbaye here. There is nobody else out there for me to copy. And I stand corrected. Other than to listen to the voice of God and work within my, that spirit. There isn't anyone other than to take superior advice. But for me to copy people, it's not possible. So I feel sorry when people are copying each other. They are prone to leave their destiny and make mistakes. That is first advice I want to give. When you are handling a matter or situation in life, try to focus and don't lose focus. Don't copy anyone. Don't copy your left hand or your right hand. Just focus and listen to your instincts. Through this, you will know exactly what the direction is telling you and exactly which direction to pass through. If you remain a person that copy and follow crowd, there is no way you can excel. Because it means that you have to wait for somebody to do something for you to copy. And out of that, you have enviness and jealous. When you copy, you turn to envy and jealous. And then it becomes hatred. Then you create enmity overnight. There is no room for such in my journey. So I want to encourage you, men and women on my platform. I am not one-sided in my, on my program. I am not siding women and leaving men out there. No. I have varieties of program. I want you to recognize that. The Women Empowerment Program is to the advantage of men, not to the disadvantage of men. Because if women are properly equipped and educated, then they will be able to know how to behave at home, how to handle their affairs in the house, how to reduce the party going, and how to be able to go into the labor market and do things properly. So the Women Empowerment Program, which is a closed group, it is not to go against men but to encourage the women to do things better into the man's advantage if the man can listen properly. But we have come to the time and the age that we have to ensure that we assist those who are less, less confident in their lifetime. Because the world is getting small and small every day. It's not getting bigger because of the technology. It's getting smaller and smaller. So the only way to, to, to assist is through social media of this time. And that is what I am doing on one of my, my platform, 
I have various platforms, you know that, on this one. And Facebook know me very well because I paid into Facebook. So you cannot compare me with any other person. I paid into Facebook. <laughs> so I can never be flagged because they have my identity. It's identified. So you can see. So things are okay from this end. But I don't want men to be thinking negatively about my program or about women that are watching. And I don't want women to be thinking negatively against men as well. Because it wasn't like that at all. So you should get yourself together and treat your man or woman properly so that you will not miss out with my program. You see, negative thoughts can affect thinking and it can affect movement and it can affect progress as well. So I want to encourage ladies and gentlemen out there, let's carry on and let's work together and do things for the betterment of our society, our community, our world, our country, our family, our siblings, our, fam our friends, you know. God does not create you for yourself. He created you for the purpose of employ uh, employing to, to assist others, to help others, to, 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 to be there for people that need you. And that is what we are doing right now on my platform. Tokubo Alagbaye Talk Show is to deal with most of the issues facing our community, our society, our country, our family, our homes. But tomorrow, Saturdays, I will deal with legal questions on immigration matters and other stuff that people are having in the United Kingdom or in our ex where that want to enter into UK. I will deal with things of that on legal things next um, tomorrow. I will deal with it tomorrow. Today, I want to concentrate on the issues of responsibility, parental responsibility. I want to concentrate on that. So join me if you have the confidence to join Tokumbo Alagba here on my platform. Join me right now. My name hasn't changed, Tokumbo Alagba It hasn't changed. So I want to welcome you. I want to encourage you. I want to say thank you to all of you, Prince Adedak for Arara me. You know, I want to recognize you. Please share this program. It's very important. I want you to share this program. This is not one of the programs that one will be reluctant to share. Because sharing this program, you're going to assist your next door neighbor. You're going to assist your friends on the platform. You're going to encourage people at, at, in the world at large to know exactly what to do when things are not going well for them. And to know who to contact and, who, and how to behave. Also, it will allow you to know how to deal with your partner and your children in the house or elsewhere when things are not working well between two of you then those who haven't got the paper document that we call marriage certificate they would with this program they will know where their rights stand they will know what to do because marriage certificate is a document on its own but it's a paper it's a paper work but at a certain stage in life that marriage certificate become a legal document it become an important thing but on the day you are exchanging it you don't know that you are signing your life away you thought it was a joke it wasn't a joke the day you are signing that document it becomes real and different from other documents. Okay, my dear. Do you understand? So it's a different uh, the, uh, uh, document in, in its entirety. So I want us to concentrate and have our drink next to us. It's a beautiful Friday here in the United Kingdom. The weather is not that, that bad in London today. But let me tell you, it's cold, but it's not that, that bad. So I want to encourage you. Join me right now and listen to my music, you know. I want to thank you for coming on board. I want to recognize you. You know? Good to see you again. I'm Aturaya Ayakisa. Thank you. Good to see you. I'm Akosto Yinka. Good afternoon. Faith Adiola Rogers. Thank you. Really miss you on this program. Thank you so much. Christiana Adiola. Thank you so much. Olubukala Mobile Love. You're welcome on board. You're one day at Daudu. Thank you, ma'am. Um, Abiola Mortajo, thank you, thank you. If I cannot pronounce your name, you have to forgive me, but I will try my best to make sure that it's properly done, you know. So don't worry about that, you know. Sorry about the adverts, <laughs> you know. Um, who is there to call? I'm not sure you are. Thank you. Any or not, thank you. Welcome on board. Well, let's follow me. Thank you. Um, who else do we have there? I want to know how many people we have there. To encourage to come on board.
So the program we are having today is a bit of uh, a bit sensitive. I want to look into the rights of men that are not married to their partners over the issue of children, and I want to look at what right does a woman have that are not that's not married to her husband or her partner. What responsibility has she got over that child, and and what right has, has she got not to allow her man to see the child that they have together? It takes two to tango. Don't forget. It takes two to tango. So we're talking about the absent father and the present father as well. What right does the lady have? So you can see that my program is not one-sided. About that <laughs> we have to do what we have to do <laughs> so we got to really look into it what at what stage can the woman say that they will not allow their man to come and see a child that they both have together it takes two to tango what has that man done to hurt the woman's feelings that made her now decided not to let him come in and come and see the child has he ever been present in the child's life or it's just a one-off thing that you just want to do for the purpose of any other reason. So it, that's the question I'm asking. And I'm asking those questions under law. I'm looking at the the legality of it, you know. So you, you, you should be listening and let's see how far we can go with this um, topic today. The, the question is, can she legally keep the son away from the child, from the father? At what stage? Hmm. It's, it's, it's a very complex one, extremely complex. And I will recognize your input. You know, I will really appreciate your input at this stage. Your your contribution is immensely important to me because I want a lot of people to share knowledge. I want them to gain vast knowledge from this. This platform is to encourage, is to educate, is to assist, is to boost morale and to discourage things that are not meant to be within our society, meant to run. We should not allow it. We should not encourage it. We agree it takes two to tango and you should agree that it takes two to tango to have a child. So at what stage can a mother keep the child away from the father? Does the unmarried father have right over child staying with the mother? I have a lot of incidents. I have a lot of um, both side question and answer. But instead of me to be dealing with the matter within myself, I went into law to go and look at the legality of things and look at at what stage can this be done? At what stage would a woman have that right to say that the man, the father of the child, must not come in to see? Join me if you are out there on 07908. You know, we are on 07908. 07908-0790-628. So we're here right now and we're looking at that issue, you know, on the face of it. Because I have so many questions that people have sent to me that my wife, my partner is not the baby mother they use now. The language they are using now from Davido's case is baby mama. My baby mother is not allowing me to see my child. And does the man, does the, what right does a lady has, what, what right has he got, has she got? If a man pregnates her, and the man refused to see her after the birth of the child. Remember, they've been having good time together since before the birth, before the pregnancy. As soon as the pre pregnancy come on, 
you know, he decided not to see her again. What right has that lady has? But what right, how, did, how is she going to manage herself? Who did she go to? Remember, that type of lady doesn't have status in the United Kingdom. So what is her right? Where would she run to? But what right does a lady have to deprive a man from seeing his child? Do they have to go through court procedure to get things ratified? Hello? Hello? Yeah, hi. Good afternoon. Yeah, hi. We're on a live program. Are you comfortable? I know. I know. Thank you. I cannot wait to hear from you. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Because the problem, I will have a because um, I have already told people that. <laughs> you're, 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 you're fine, man. You're good. Thank you, fantastic today, man. Your topic is fantastic. Every single day. Thank you. You know, in this case, in this case, we brought up today. Hmm. And it's over for no more. Hmm. We won't say about eight, and this is like, this is like 100, 100 percent, out of 100 percent hmm. on the platform today. Maybe 80 percent of us are in today's situation. Hmm. But we are the only one that can say. Mm. Our men, they have the right to their children, hundred mm. percent, whether they are good or they are not. And mm. I have, I was in the special before, mm. and I allowed my husband to come into my house any time he likes to see the children. Even though they told him to be paying maintenance, he only pay maintenance, and I gave him the first part with, and he stopped it, and I think access to see the children. I have so many friends that on one street we know almost two the corner woman. What is for my finance? When you see me you can finance. I'm happy with this, and my children are happy to see their kids' father all the time. But I work here, and you want to share two hours, one share two hours for you. Ask me once to get a number because I want to come back to one reason. Hmm. 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 Topic is a very good topic. On to it, but the other will be me. I'm a matrix that I will not be able to do it for our Which is no good. But if you want to protect the party, you can work on for it. You can work on for it. I will not be able to do it. I will be able to do it for me. I will be able to do it for you. I will be able to do it for you. Because Children. And he has two babies. 
but since about six or seven years, I left. Yeah, there is no baby. So that's the one we live with. Hmm. Just, even sometimes as, as, over the weekend, and we are not together anymore. Hmm. Just for the sake of Hello? I want to find you. I Fantastic points. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. Yes. Thank okay. you. We are talking about the issue of parental responsibility. We are on 07908-628240. At what stage can a woman say that the father of the child must not come home to see his child? Does that woman have right to deprive the man from seeing his child? He takes two to tango. What is the legality of this? What is the effect of it on the child? These are the things we are looking into this afternoon. Can a mother keep the child away from the father? What is the right of the unmarried father over the child staying with mother? Hello? Hello? Yeah, hi there. Hi, I like this topic today. Thank you, thank you. My thinking is, you know, I want the OP, the OP, yeah, don't, don't say I want more, you know, just keep up on more, or on more, don't be excited, I want, I want Baba, I want to go on to your dear, but I didn't know the day, I want to buy that, I want my lot of the Baba, I'll give you people a quick, typical example. You know, my daughter, she was number. Her father was not in her life for more than 14 years. The moment the father comes in, most of them had a cry, they cry, and that was it, bam. You know, <laughs> they just bonded. And it's just my dad, my dad, my dad, my dad now. You get what I mean? So there's no point for mothers to take away the fathers, especially the fathers that really, really try to keep their children uh, um, life. So there's no need for mothers to take that away from them. If you don't work out as husband and wife, just don't put, don't put your children in sleep. You, mm. you get what I'm saying? Yes, I'm with you. You know, Emma, 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 I'm almost sorry. Let your children decide whether they want to see the father or they don't want to see the father. Mm. You know? So let them, let, give, give them that opportunity to decide. Give them that choice. Because honestly, if we do more of our 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 but how will I be able to do that when I'm when I'm fighting my children, you know, hmm. for my for my for this for their father? Hmm. If, if, if you get what I mean, because I want my father to that, I want my wife to know how to know how. Because they hurt. Any of them, my mom goes in law story face, goes in law wife at bed. That's why the father don't put anything to her. Hmm. But I'm not seeing love for her. I'm seeing love for her. And all the my wife and my mom said, Mom, I don't care about my dad. I don't care if he comes to me. But I'm not going to love for her. I'm 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 going to love for her. So we're actually hurting our children from keeping them away from the fathers. I want to buy a corner and hold so I want more yet gone gone. That is my own point. I want more yet gone gone. Now first. Not, not, not the father. Because I'm about, you know, here I can see because I'm alone for. They probably have other children somewhere else. Hmm. You know, so, uh, you know, a job, you just don't use this, uh, this, this, uh, ladder, this program to, to speak to mothers that are doing that. Maybe they don't know, really, really know the, the 
is a cause of what it is. You know, if you don't get us, if you don't work out, what's wrong to God's cause? But just don't, don't let us take that uh, beauty away. And, and so that get to father, let us give it to them. Say, oh, this is a hit. I mean, in my marriage, he was a very good father. But he, he was a very good father, but not a good husband. But so therefore, because he was, he was good to my to the full time, I will not take, take away that from him. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Excellent. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye, yeah. bye, -bye dear. That's two already. Hello. Hello. Good evening, sir. Good evening to you, ma'am. Yeah. Um, I so much love this topic. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. You know, the one I want to tell you that is about someone that got pregnant and the man is so the pregnancy. At the end of the day, they took you for DNA or whatever. What is the DNA that they don't know more? Some of you say, in the end, you could be allowed to do very well. In that situation, and you want to be again. Because you don't need more. What do you have to do? We will call you your money, call you she get it for getting up. What do you do? She or she did it, not everything. This baby is new. She took out her mother about. They are giving what I know how to eat. I love arguments in law. I love arguments within the context of legal fame. I love it so much. So when you push things of this nature to me, I, I stand corrected. I love you. There has to be court order in that question that she just threw to me. There has to be court order. The case has to go to court to have, the, to have sheer parental responsibility. Such father will have to be dragged into the court arena. If you are pregnant and you have a child and you know he's, he's true DNA and he refused to take responsibility, you have to drag him into court arena for him to take responsibility. That is the purpose of the judicial system. That is the purpose of the legal system. And especially if you are within a jurisdiction that, 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 that doesn't go into corrupt, that doesn't even accept corrupt, uh, corruption, then you can easily use that legal system to get what you want as a tool, you know, to get to get a redress from court, you know, and you can get a redress through that. So if you have a preg if you are pregnant for a man and you are having problem, I'm coming, please hold on. And you're having problem or is refusing to take a child from you, even the other way around with a man as well that the lady is refusing you to see a child. The arena is the court arena for you to just to, to solve the problem, you know. So you go through the court arena, the legal system gets involved, the judicial system interprets the law. And then they, they, they give you the re responsibility. That's what they call shared, shared responsibility. Please go ahead. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Lawyer Tukum. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm happy about this topic. Thank you. Um, I feel that it is not right. It's not right for a mother to keep the... Um... Sorry, am I still on? Yeah, you are on. You are on. Okay. You are on to keep the children away from the father. Because we cannot use children as a weapon to punish the dad for what is done for us. There is a difference between the father 
and the wife and the father as, um, and the children. Again, I would say it depends on the circumstances of the separation. Hmm. I would not encourage a man to be with my child or with my children if he's a sex offender, if he's an abuser, or if he's a criminal. This is for the protection of my own child or the, the child or the children. I know a Nigerian dad who exported over 100,000 pounds from his child just because the child is a footballer. You, you understand? I do. And he exported 100,000 pounds. This please borrow me this money, I'll give you back. And that was the end. What did he do? He used the money to go and marry another woman. Would I encourage my own children to be with such a man? Hmm. No. This is for the protection of my own child. So it, it, that's what I mean by it depends on the circumstances of the separation. This is my own contribution, Lawyer Tokubo. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That, that is another one entirely. And um, <laughs> we have so much to talk about when it comes to the issue of um, parental responsibility and shared responsibility. Who has the custody? Who has the autonomy? Who has the right? You know, do, does a woman have right to deprive the husband or the partner or the father of the baby from seeing his child? It takes two to tango, you know. Yes, hello? Hello, ma. Yes, hi. Akala, please go ahead. Yes. Yes, ma. 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 Yes, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Fantastic. You see, Nigerian, Africa Hello. generally, people are so intelligent. Hello, my dear. Just hold on. People are very intelligent. And I want to encourage your intelligence to come out. I want you to speak out. I want you to share your knowledge. I want you to impact the community. I want you to impact the society we are today. I want you to let people gain from your vast experience. And that's the essence of my talk show. You know, so I will not bring it out here to come and degrade you or to come and demean you or to come and talk down on one side over the other. Never. It won't happen because I, I have credibility. I have the credentials to protect. So therefore, 
when it comes through this timeline, this profile has to be within the law, within the reasonably within the arena of law. So people must be able to 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 gain from it. That's what I'm doing. I want people to to, to gain from my experience, my my professional career, and that what other people that have the same experience professionally to come in and impact, you know, impact knowledge, impact community, contribute. Let them let your voice be heard. Hello. Please go ahead. Please go ahead. Thank you. I'm here. Hello? Yeah, hello. I'm, I, can, I can hear you. 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 Start over again, madam, please, because it cuts. Yes, ma'am. Uh, can you start all over, Ebe Rek, pardon? In this situation, I say, oh, come here. Oh, come here, I'm going to marry you, but I'm going to marry you. In this situation, I'm going to marry you. I'm going to marry you, but I'm going to marry you. I'm going to marry you, but I'm going to marry you. I'm going to marry you, but I'm going to marry you. That kind of situation, if both of you are in the same country, you have to use the law as the mechanism, tools to get the redress. And what you have to do, yes. if you think that you're, you're, you're struggling, you know, the struggle is there on your own to take care of that child, then you have to take that kind of man to court. Yes, ma, but um, when computer in the way or any way, because I'm not seeing what people go as a case, I'm not sending a mass of my own my baby, but they you know, you what she must be waiting for this up or daily. Why embarrass all my pride or embarrass my own day or embarrass your own, you know, and you come along, my mom, or also be on my way. If you let your whole group, I saw you have to use the mind go no six five five full of day. No, you don't want to say, oh. Because because Mm. 
Interesting. I said this when we started that it's a very um, complicated one, very complex. So I don't want anyone to think that it's one sided. It's not one sided. Men are allowed to call in, please. Please tell us, share your experience as well. Don't let it just be women, women calling in, yeah? Let it be men as well. Please impart knowledge, impart society. Hello. Hello, man. Hello, dear. Hi. Uh, good evening, man. I good like evening. what the last what the last caller said. Okay. Everybody's cases are different. We say that man shall be. A man should have more and therefore more cotton shell if you There's so many fathers that have the opportunity to look after their children. For more niche. I've been through it and I'm still in it. My children are under 10. I gave them the opportunity to have contact with their father because you don't mention have contact with me. But I gave them the opportunity. But you will call the children, promise them, but not fulfill it. So the children know now that the father is not doing anything. He has gone to a state that they will just say, we don't need to call our daddy. If he promised us something, he's not going to do it for us. He look on the Nodjowa. So since Donita Lukun go to Oya talk, or bring me some of my own father, Lord Baji Baba, so you don't want to come on my own for two children. One more pass of a one more, one more for two shillings. Give it a Sunday one more to the law. So, what I will bring in at Emma de la Fire for more for one more. I need the last to follow for more for two shillings. Because it will confess on me, my shagon. A shagon, thank you so much. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hi there. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Thank you. We actually love this topic because I can say 65% of women were going through this. Mm -hmm. And first and foremost, if you only ever deprived by our mommy from our mommy, like, like, regardless of in Kotoba, she found. Yes. If one moment be gone, for the past ten years. For the love I got for my kids, I will never deprive him. But so bad very one then no so bad. But you are so bad. So bad will not talk point.
the comments online as well. We cannot afford to ignore those who are online. I will take that call, but let me, please hold on. Let me take call from, uh, let me read the online comments. Aya Akiyemi said in the high of the law, if the man is a sex offender, as long as he hasn't abused the child, he will be granted visitation rights, but he will be supervised. That is a word coming from Aya Akiyemi. If the, in the high of the law, if the man is a sex offender, as long as he hasn't abused the child, he will be granted visitation rights and he will be supervised. Now, I have Oluwakemi Agarawu. Oluwakemi Agarawu said, why, why oh, would a lady give birth for a married man? Don't know what she's trying to what she's trying to say. Why would a lady give birth for a married woman, a man? You know. Yabelo Sunny, Yaba Belo Sunny says some colors are not in that shoe. If you are not in that shoe, you won't know how to wear it. Mm. Are you can hear me? Okay, thank you for that. Are you can hear me? I want to look at some of the comments. Just hold on, caller. It is imperative that we read out some of the live comments as well so that they will not be left out. We will take calls. Don't worry. I'm here. But I just want people to know that we are looking at their comments as well at the same time. So I want to encourage them to keep posting the comments. Please keep posting your comment and please share this program. Let men pick it up as well. So share this program, please. God will bless you. Just share this program and, and impact knowledge, impact community. You're sharing it is helping others who are suffering, who are both male and female, you are helping. So please share, share. Press your button, share, share now, and let us know. And if you like this program, can we see your like button, please? Can you just show to us that you like this kind of program? So that we know what and what to be bringing to the community at large. This program, don't, don't, you will know that I have said to you that the video will be taken. You know, they always take my video away. They always um, copy it, you know. So please share this program onto your world. Let us both work together and impact our society. Let us share the knowledge, please. Please, please share, 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 share. I like the way it's coming on now. Th thank you. Thank you. I can see the button now. Please, can we share, 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 share? Thank you so much. Um, go ahead. Uh, good evening, ma. Good evening to you, dear. God bless you. I, I appreciate this topic that you brought um, to work this evening. Mm. And um, I was saying to myself, if, I, if I'm unable to call you today, you know you know I'm not calling. Mm -hmm. And um, I just got on the clue that I was calling. Earlier, I said in my comments that... Um, People will not understand except if they are in the shoes. Hmm. And I just pray people who have been in it are able to read and say their opinion. Hmm. Um, first, I'm calling from Glasgow, and um, the first thing I'm going to say is this issue uh, depends on the father. Hmm. It depends.
based on the uh, IHA COP, CIPA, CIPOC, and one more, mm. and even the mm. There's no woman that is smart that would say the father of a child should not be the child. Mm -hmm. Mm. If you as a father determine that um, if my children do not stay in 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 my list, if I'm not unable to marry the mother, the, I'm not going to look after that child. Mm. So what do you expect the woman to do? Mm. That's number one. Number two, if a father is on about possess your mommy by way, mm. then it becomes a problem. He's not looking after that child. He just wants the woman to stay there because on the other one, no mafia money is that way. Then we have another problem. Exactly. Then another thing is when a father sees himself where a woman is, yeah, a woman is, so a woman give a damn. Don't own a phone to be a woman. Then we have another problem. See, he has a woman is, he has a woman is. What is going to happen? So think of a shape because there's no, there's no law to help the law to say, do your responsibility and see your child. Mm -hmm. Then number five, mommy, mm -hmm. if a man don't see your boy, select, don't do up any money for you. Or more woman, father, what bound, they get the bad, you want one um, culture, our uh, culture. Mm -hmm. You must be joking. It's not going to work. Oh, yeah? Because I carry my children along everything I do for them. Hmm. It's been three years I do not owe, he did not owe me a dime. Even when I was 18, he doesn't owe me a dime. Hmm. And you think because I'm a good mother, I should be begging and say, please come and be involved in my son's life. Hmm. No, I'm not going to do that. And I wish they only agree so that I can, we can go to court so that I will be on my money. Because a woman is a cook, is a teacher, is a cleaner, is, you are doing the dad, you are doing the mom at the same time, and many more. Hmm. So it depends on the circumstance. Hmm. Don't get me wrong, ma. There are some women that, out of just annoyance or bad belly, they wouldn't let the man involved. Please, I'm saying to those women, let the men be involved. Hmm. Because there are some things that are beyond more If you have a male child, only I want to talk about the man will be able to do it. So, she bought if that if the man says I don't want to be involved, for it, eh, well, tell me, oh, you can you not stay in my house, and he tells that I will not stay in my house in my culture, and I disown them, let them go. My 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 ex partner put my children through trauma. They were seen by psychologists. Hmm. So one person will tell me when they grow up that my son will say he will run after that man, you're joking. Hmm. It's not going to work. It's not. Because those children every day sleep and dream and see things that have gone through and they have gone through and will, will, their friends have things in school and their mother is unable to provide for them and they will grow up, you will come and use Paris and Disney World to entice them and you think they're going to follow you in this UK. Children that have got their middle of Gaganta is like a 10 year old, it's like a 15 year old. You think they're going to stoop low and do that? Mm. Men that are on this platform must be choking. That's all I've got to say for me. A shame. Thank, thank you, dear. Thank you. Hmm. Let me quickly make my remark. It appears that there is so much going on in the world with regards to parental responsibility. But the government of each country has failed their subjects in terms of taking care of that area. And as a result of that, children are being deprived of both parental uh, uh, responsibility, of that parental care. The reason why I'm saying this is that it takes two to tango. And when the relationship is not going smoothly between man and woman, the children should not be the button, you know, be the button band to use in the, in the middle of everything or use as a, as a boxing or whatever between the, the two um, couple, between two of them. Children should be left out completely and let them realize exactly what the situation is. But then having said that, according to what I have read within the law, the arena of law, what the law is saying is that 
It depends on the situation that makes both parties separated. You have to look at that angle. If the, if the reason for separation was to do with issue of violence, domestic violence, the pain will be too bitter to swallow. It will be too bitter to allow the other party to come in. You know? But if this separation has nothing to do with physical or emotional violence, there is every possibility that the child will be given the opportunity, according to law, to see back his father or mother. You are saying father, 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 forgetting that there are some situations where mothers have left kids for their father and walk out on those children. Have you seen that scenario? Because the mother is having an affair out there. So she's more interested in the new um, concubine, I would say. And as a result of that, left children with the father and walk out on those children. Now, when those children grow up in life, how do you want them to, to see their mother? How, what eye do you want them to put on to perceive the type of mother they have? We should look at this couple argument in both ways. And that is why I said it before we started. There is a very complex area. I have checked the rules. I have researched very well before coming on. I have many scenarios, but I want us to look at it both ways. Because it takes two to tangos. When you are shifting blame and shifting blame and shifting blame, we need to look at the woman's side that left kids it's a very good topic. left kids and walk out on the children and left them with their father what do you talk about that what do you say in that situation talking about like why is my name let's hear you answer ma hello ma go ahead hello ma thank you 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 ma
Thank you, ma. Thank you yes, so ma. much, ma. Bye, ma. Yes, ma. Bye, bye, ma. <laughs> I'm just enjoying my incredible morning journey. So I love it. I love uh, this uh, type of argument when it comes to both sides. My Bolton lady, how are you? Hello. Hello, ma. Hey, my Kalema. Yes, ma. Thank you, ma. Amen, ma. Amen, ma. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. Baba, me call me not for the Baba, me to me PhD. Auto be me. So my mom will say, you know, to call me. So to me. Otherwise, you are funny here. You are me beautiful. Remember me. Who passed on his way? I want family and separate. I hope to read the word to read the word. Tell you that you can't do anything. Or say, no, me. Who are you? Hmm. You graduate the University of Kibad. After my graduation, I brought you up and graduate in Baba Wapa High School. Who are there? It's a job. Who to share the Only is free that I'm picture. Who was your wa. Irrespective of the situation, you might get to be 
lot to we actually learned a lot from what she said because that's what she's trying to find out whether we, it makes sense to us of course it makes sense because basically what the lady said is that she after she has passed through a lot in the hands of her father because herself and her siblings are girls they were left they were they were stranded the father couldn't help them but god helped them in the end they become successful but then after that then she starts growing up and make and you know having her own life then unfortunately the first husband died. The second one that she think who will, who will come up with come up well turned to be a wrong man. Well, to de to define a wrong man, you have to listen to the both stories of the argument to know the wrong and right person at the end of the day, according to the um, the ethics of the profession. You have to hear both stories, you know. But as a lawyer that is in a defense side, you know, when you are in a defensive side, then I don't need to listen to the other story. That's what people don't understand. I don't need to listen to the other story. The prosecutors does not need to listen to my client's story to make up her mind and say, "Listen, you are guilty. I want to prosecute. I want to. I want to. I want to take this case forward, and and, and take the advice from the police. You know, straight away CPS. And as a defense lawyer, I don't have to listen to the other side story because it's not my client. Don't forget, my client's story will always be right in my ears because I was paid. To listen to her, so of course whatever my client said to me will be will be the right thing, because I'm mm -hmm. on the defensive side. The prosecutor side will probably listen because they are defending the government. 
So once the case comes through the government, they're going to take it on and say, listen, does this worth pursuing or not? The moment they look at it, they say, no, government, don't let us weigh the public funds. We don't need to take this case forward. That is their job. And once the police advise them, they look at the police and look at the case together with the police and say, listen, this case is not worth taking forward. Drop it. Speak to the person and say, drop it. But on the defense side, we are private. So we don't have to struggle to get our case from our clients once the client can pay us. What we do is that sit down and get our research done and look at the similar cases that have come in the past, which we call the precedent, and we push the case forward. So when people talk and say, I need to take the other side story, I don't have to. So just a matter of correction, I'm trying to correct somebody there. I don't have to take other story. I just have to listen. If she's my client now, what she said to me, it's sweet in my hair because she's, she's my client. And if it's the government, the, the government will want to pursue the case for her if it's on the other side as well. So that's how it works. Hello. Hello, ma. Yes. Thank you. Thank God. Yeah, thank God. Thank you so much. Thank you. Always go to listen to what the women are supposed to say before you can try to come up with your own excuses according to the women. I, I am a living witness. Hmm. Some six years ago, I found myself in the midst of two women. Between heaven and death, I was committed to one more than the other. Mujer come up to say, Mujer come up to say, Mujer come up to say, over and But God so kind, she took him. Well, no more no I had to stay away from her for like two but anyway, I you know, Moni, Aguru, Moni, I can't just let her be. I went back and started together again. I stood by her. To cut the long story short, she moved out of the country. She came back. What do you do more? We were always together. I was always seeing her. Then all of a sudden, when you go through, I have to keep this child away from me. Why? Oh, friend. Okay, fine. Oh, friend, but I think I to see him or he. I support you on a monthly basis. I start giving you money, I do shopping for my boss. So now, if you are not saying to Tokyo, or you have to take this child away from me. Oh, it's not done. It comes to a point, okay, we are moving to London. But in Nigeria, oh, the government, in Nigeria, we start getting with waiting comes a letter from the father. Hmm. Well, because I want the best for you and the child, I wrote the letter. I gave you a copy of my official document, my uh, database page of my transfer. Just because you told me we will always keep in touch and will not keep this child away from you. But when she got to England, that was what she did. She changed her number. You know what to do more. Midnight you have one friend to go over and there. He had not related to us in England. Hmm. I left my job in Nigeria to move down to England. Just because I want to see that. Today, 
the last time I set my eyes on her and my joy was four years ago. Hmm. That was when we relocated to England. I went to meet them at the airport. Hmm. I've been in England now for three years now. We've been talking about the phone. Who oh, is the last place in your knee? Nigeria. You can just go to sell it on the number you will sell more to say your ye. Wow. You can do it behind closed door. Hmm. It's not that he's here in England. It's not. I've seen people so just say, oh look yeah, you can do it. You just have to go and get private investigators, go and do this, go and do that. Investigation of home and of my booking. Come on, tell me, see, you need to I need some proof, proof to you and this person. Oh, really, boy, you are me. The only thing I've seen so far, um, okay, every year on the boy's birthday to pick my call. On my own birthday, she allowed me to speak to him. Every other day, in fact, he doesn't pick my call. But because she doesn't pick my call, does not mean that I don't love my boy, I don't want to have anything to do with my boy. But I always try every single day, every weekend, I send them text messages, prayer points, even when I know that she's not going to respond. Almost see that, but do not make go to your act. Any private number to say. But on a few occasions, she has to show. I know the boy was eager to say his father, no, I miss you, daddy. He will do. He can't recollect that big and brown is a little bit. Over time, on home, on team, almost six, almost a half, in consider by the owner. But even at that, Ever since I've been in England, I've been working in England, I've opened a shop for you. Hmm. Every month, you can talk to the link, more fuel, the account, and new request. Most of your property in Nigeria, one no more for you to do what you get. Don't share, call your request, or one of them, more rent. Don't know any good, you won't marry, you don't feel fine. But don't know any good, they are. I may not be able to set my eyes on it, but it is just to make me more safety or will not be more risk. I set up the pension flag. The pension is more for the lane or more for will not. It's so painful, but my wife just understands. And she's been supporting. Because every time, the bad sorrow. So why you don't know what you can ask? I'm thinking about your time. Don't worry, everything is going to be fine. Hmm. It is simple. So at times, when some women just come up to show you, there are men outside there, they don't want to do anything. Far from me. Hmm. I'm not proud of what happened. I'm not happy that I have a child outside where the somewhere there that I can't see, it is painful. I know there are some useless men out there, but we still have some distant men, so just say they are ready to go extra miles to have their family together. Hmm. But there are some women outside the therapy, they don't feel that old, oh, so they that shit, so they that be, it is not easy. It is not easy for two people raising children on the top of just one person. At times, we just need to put pride aside and just allow peace to reign. We just need to put up ego aside. It's just between us, you and the man. Mm. The war must not continue to go here. I just have to force you to hate your father, or have to force you to hate your mother. No, it is our own problem. Let's deal with it. Mm. I should remind that so just people say, "Me want someone." 
But if this thing continues, see how much you might tell me to get paid, for real, okay? Father, you don't want to see if your current testimony. After I was raised by a mother, then I can as well it doesn't make sense. Don't worry about the food deal, which I should ask you. But he called for me to allow you out. I want to come back. If you don't want to take me back, but let me have access to my kids. Let him have the answer. But only if you only call me. All like I want to be conscious. But I want to look at the only conscious. Don't give them the chance. Don't give them the chance. I wish mean, I can go further, but I'm so sure somewhere around within England, she's listening to this program. But I can. Thank you. I'm, 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 I'm honored. Thank you. I'm grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, fantastic. This is quite important. Now, please share this program again if you haven't shared it. If you're just joining us, uh, Tukumbolagwa is my name. It hasn't changed. If you're just joining us, we are talking about the issue of parental responsibility. We are saying and asking questions. Can a mother keep the child away from the father? What is the right of the unmarried father? over the child staying with mother. Join me live right now. I'm on 07908 I'm going to tell you the legal impact of this particular topic. When I allowed everyone to call in before the end of the show, I will now talk about the impact of law on each stage of it. Then you will realize how important this topic is. Let's, let's listen. Hello? Hello? Yes, hi. Yeah, hi. Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Please go ahead. Yeah, uh, I just want to continue with the issue you are talking about. Oh, yes, please go ahead. Go ahead. It's really a very complicated issue. Hmm. Um, because uh, it goes on both ends. Mm hmm as the non-father and the woman-father as well. Ah, if you want to look at this perspective. Sorry, can I ask, are you a male or female? I'm a, I'm a male. I'm a male, you are a male, I thought so. Yeah. <laughs> I thought so. Yeah. Please yeah. pardon me and go ahead. Yeah. If you want to look at it from this angle, you know, uh, parents are very which people need to understand. Let's use this as an example. Two people get together. Maybe for adventure, they don't have a papers. But at the, at the beginning, things are definitely rosy for each and every body. So maybe at the time, they may be kept present. But at the instance of that, they are still going on. But one way or the other, since sometimes, for the guy. Hmm. 
in a situation like that, if you know the, if the, the woman knows that this guy is not, you know, maybe, it's not that he doesn't want to go, mm. but there is nothing for him mm. at that particular time. In that situation, you said the man is bad, but, but because of the situation and the circumstances they found themselves, mm. they tend to live as what that is a bad person. Mm. So in that scenario, it won't go and steal. But even if it is a little you can be, assess it. But the people we're talking about here now, you know, to be honest, kind of demand they would they would ask from the man would be too high. And in some situation, it will tend to run away. Mm. Because there is no way you can get anything like that. Hmm. And to be honest with you, to be honest with you, as the children are going, you kind of at times uh, demand they make. At times it's too high. Someone who is managing to bring his uh, a small room of like two fifty three hundred, they want to buy PS for for about three fifty four hundred pounds. So, you know, if, if I, I believe if we can all work together and do with what we have, we can go extra mile. I think that is where the whole country will be. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Another point is demand and supply. Demand and supply. The impact of those two words are quite crucial in relationship, demand and supply. Demand and supply. We are on 07908-628240. Where are you? 07908-240. <laughs> Where are you guys? Where are you hiding? You know. <laughs> There is so much happening with the issue of kids in the society. <laughs> you know, so I, 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 really, I really want to encourage people to speak out when they have issue. I really want them to take an advice from an expert of my caliber so that you don't fall foul. There is so much happening. It is not about the UK immigration status all over the world. All over the world. That was a long episode you write, Reti. If you want me to read that, that is quite long. And that has nothing to do with this topic, but I, I can see through briefly. You know. Hello? 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 That is an international call from Germany, I think. Or Turkey, rather. Turkey is 4-9. I think Turkey also. I'm not too sure which country code is that. You know, but we are here, you know. Hello, hello.
please hold on. Hello. Yes, I can. I can imagine. I thought so. That that's Jam Jamnik Code, isn't it? Um, my name is Patricia, and I, I think um, this question. I think um, this is where um, visitation custody and child cost, visitation custody, and I think um, child custody is involved. It involves two things: visitation custody and child custody. I think. Um, Everybody is unmarried. In Germany, he has the rights of And I think the child, I think the mother cannot um, take the child away from her. It's only when involved. That is when the, uh, is when the petition against the man, the man will be can you lower your device if you really want people to hear what you are saying madam please turn it down Hello? turn it down so that you don't you, you don't have to hear your voice at the moment okay. are you okay now yes i i i well carry on talking let's see yeah i think it is only when there's a case of vouching the mother can take the child It is fifty that said immediately the child and the um, mother cannot without the court the petition from the court. If the man is violent, it is the court asking as it starts from the police will ask meters away from but the mother loan it is only that has to say that one has to stay away it sets that from the and then maybe the the court and then that is the man will be asked in the child but if you are not married to a woman the 50 50 So I don't think the if if the unmarried the the father has to take the away from the father. If the law admits that, the different thing. You will violate is is involved in this. So that is my late advice. Thank you. For this. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's because of the distance. That's why we're struggling with the um, the audible of the message. You know. You know. I think it's because of the distance. But having said that, in a summary of what I have heard from her, it's two ways. If the violence is not there, then it's smooth. You know, if there is court, if there is marriage certificate, hold on. If there is marriage certificate, if I had one, well, it's fifty-fifty. But if there is no marriage certificate, it's a bit difficult. But if there is no violence, you know, visitation should be smooth. But there, if there is violence, then it's going to be difficult. After this, I want to read the online comment as well. Thank you. Please go ahead. Hello, Ekale, please go ahead. Yeah, um, sorry to the new ex
because we are not in the code of one of them is not the criminal. So, the nature the three kids will leave home. So, after then, for the fact that they will leave home, they will leave home. They will leave home. They will for almost 11 months, to declare a woman, but only because only can not do the map or can not resolve. If you open the source, but I know the only thing is that I say I need to say about now is the Maya woman. The whole country of the people pay a more demand on food every month. He increased there by 50 percent. To move it away from Maya woman, could be a problem. More increase their food buying. I think by the day. And let me say, we can almost say that we can offer the shopping, even if we don't see the food buying. But then, try that, no, go tell on it. But then, during that process, we can say that we can do the communication first time, because I feel so reluctant to take it in. In charge of the court has been coming, but because the battle of corporate four times the definition could down, but later we will apply the court. Lastly, the marriage and one more because could just by by then try to work it to not put them on. Could they clear on when the battle bound? No money to marry on one. All the extent to the expensive marry on one, the market school, but they said they want to come to pay. We can say we are only taking compounds around. So we call it look at very quick time. We are we are around. We buy. So to cut the story short, almost one year last year of our court, we did serious operation. We parallel back on pay we mobile to after the last court all our evidence to the station. Eventually. Tout autre du pays mon bon père, on s'en crée ce qui est qui m'a rien à mon lait puis le week-end. Then, comme à ce moment, every fortnight, l'autre de nous. Donc, on continue à faire un peu. Et il s'en rend une fois, ni nous qui nous n'en au pot, ni nous, parce que je l'ai changé un peu quand, si les badas, on dirait de l'autre, si les autres badas ont opéré de l'autre, l'autre a fait un problème. Il peut être en fait mal. Donc, c'est un peu plus, c'est comme on dit Brooklyn, non. So some people need to pray, but it will be in front of all four. Can we only play with your career because you say that about one? Because although the law of one was, on can't find it so far on the law of one was born by me. So go go and call me, don't tell it. He says if I am one god of mama, oh man, they can't on my call you react negatively to that bad bad. So contribution to me, my son, yeah, man. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you. And you're cut off from your end. I don't want to cut off from here because I want to read a message out here, which is important. Thank you so much. I won't take phone calls now. I want to read messages out. There is a message here right now. There is a message right now. It's saying, please help a dying and worried mom, ma. Please, ma, can I get help from social worker or I should seek asylum as my husband is throwing me and a two-month baby out of his council house? making life unbearable for me i am a legal immigrant with a british son so a british son you cannot claim asylum in the first instance once you have a british child and there is a passport to identify that child as a british citizen in the united kingdom you cannot claim asylum it is just like an american citizen they cannot claim asylum anywhere in the world they must not afford them asylum a uk citizen must not be given asylum anywhere in the world they can afford them an assistant if they are stranded. And that is why we have the embassies all over the world. You will go to the embassy to seek assistance. But you are in the United Kingdom. According to the telephone number that I received this message through. So you have a British son. If that child is having a British passport as a form of identification to identify him as one of us in the United Kingdom. I'm afraid, madam, you cannot claim, British, uh, you cannot claim asylum. He mar she married to her husband, British husband, legally from Nigeria. He changed and did not want her anymore since pregnancy. I want people to listen and give advice, please. As your advice will be a life safer, Ma, can you please advise me? Emotionally bullying and threats involved. Bless you, Ma. 
emotionally bullied and threats involved in this situation the question i want to ask this case owner or this scenario owner i would say is the child in question does he have a british passport because the, the fact that the father has british passport doesn't automatically unless there's a british passport the father has obtained because if the father has british passport and refuse to obtain british passport for that child that is another headache entirely for you which i have the similar case this morning you know so the question here is that has the child got british passport if the answer if the affirmative is positive yeah if the answer to that is affirmative rather if it's positive that the child has british passport it basically means that you should be taking fee waiver and seek assistance to make an application to the secretary of state as a parent as a single parent as a single parent of a child that are in the united kingdom you know if if the if, yes if the father of the child has obtained british passport for the child it basically means that you are going to be making application to the secretary of state in the united kingdom because the british passport we're talking about so you will be making application as a single parent to the secretary of state for you to remain in the united kingdom the good news is that if the child has british passport you will be able to apply for a fee waiver now if you have not come to united kingdom under your husband passport as a spouse of him into the uk you will not be able to apply for indefinite leave to remain or apply for the three months leave first before indefinite leave to remain so if you came in as a, as a visitor into the united kingdom it means that you will need you will only have to apply under your son who has a british passport but if you have traveled into the uk into the united kingdom under his british passport as his spouse as you have rightfully mentioned that there was marriage certificate because you got married in nigeria it basically means that with a spouse visa you will be able to make an application under dv to the secretary of state in the united kingdom so I hope I'm making sense from that angle. You will be able to make application on that DV to the Secretary of State in the United Kingdom. So this young lady, I would advise that you should call me after this program so that we can see, we can have further information. I want to know whether that child in question is carrying red passport, which is United Kingdom passport. If the child in question is carrying United Kingdom passport, you cannot claim asylum. You cannot claim asylum. It is clear to me that a United Kingdom citizen cannot claim asylum anywhere in the world. The same thing is clear to me that a United States citizen cannot claim asylum anywhere in the world. Others I am not too sure. But I'm sure the European will not want their citizen to claim asylum, especially Germany, France, Italy, because there is no war. But the United Kingdom one is clear and clear to me and the United States. We cannot claim asylum anywhere in the world. Wherever we have with our British passport, if there is a problem in that country, we should revert to our embassy, to the foreign office, for us to return back to the United Kingdom with immediate effect. As long as we carry British passport, we must be able to get assistance from our foreign office in that country and return back to the United Kingdom. As as soon as possible with immediate effect and if it's in multitude then you'll be evacuated in group back to united kingdom but you cannot claim asylum i'm sorry there is no war and i don't think there's ever been after second world war in the united kingdom and they didn't even claim asylum they were moved to canada and australia so you cannot claim asylum i'm sorry because you are the single parent of that child but the question that remain clear to me is that does the child carry British passport we need to clear about that if the child carries British passport then I think we can move in smoothly to the next stage of your application and see what we can do let's see what we have again okay let's look at the line here and leave whatsapp alone because whatsapp is a bit too tiny to read sometimes you know but let's look at the
let us argue academically and leave cultural arguments aside for now or spiritual arguments let's leave spiritual arguments aside and let us argue academically so that the foreign and uh, the world that are watching will benefit from the argument properly let us leave the local argument aside and concentrate on the legal on the academic argument you know John G. Bogu said, no matter the squibbles between father and mother, the, sh the children should not be used to play ball between both parties. Both parties need to be civil in dealing with their differences. That is John G. Bogu. Thank you. Jimmy said kids stay 90% of their time with their mother. I don't know the beginning of that argument, so I think I am lost in between. I want to read comments, and I think that will be crucial for us to know exactly what is going on at the moment. Why I'm looking for comments, let me put you back on the music so that we are not going to be too bored. I know some of you will like this man. Amas Godwin said the problem to all this can be traced to lack of understanding and trust for both partners before embarking on marriage. That someone lost after someone. Mm. Mm. We are on break. Who <laughs> care what is going on? I'm asked Godwin, would you be kind enough to mind your language? Because I'm sure everybody here is speaking English. So please, I actually don't know understand what you are saying, but I don't want to be interrupted. I want to concentrate. Okay, Oga speak English. Oga can't speak English now because Oga wants to express himself. So let's try to understand him. I beg your pardon. My number is on 07908. 07908-628240. You know? Mr. 
Mr. Jimmy said, I stayed in Orland and I got 21 year old daughter and the mother played with my daughter to the extent when me and my daughter talked. I heard adult word coming from my mouth while at that time she was just 13 years old. Mother influence. Wrong care, wrong kiss, Ogule. Mr. Jimmy, sorry, sir. <laughs> Mr. Jimmy said that is his own personal experience. Mrs. Florence Sikpeme said, yes, Mr. Jimmy, the children spend more time with their mother because mothers are there most of the time, unlike some of the fathers. <laughs> it's so difficult to comment this time around, this time on this topic. Some people are just there to hit you back straight away. Poor you, Mr. Jimmy. So sorry, Mr. Jimmy. You welcome back online, Yinka. Okay, I'm on the program. Are you calling to chip in? Yeah, I'm calling like to ask a question. Is this something to do with this program? If not, you have to call back. Uh, okay. I'm on a live chat now. I'm on a live chat. Uh, alright. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Bye. Here is a complex topic, and so, as such, I would like want to I would like us to treat it as one that's very complex and complicated, without affecting other persons' that, or emotional uh, situation. You know, without taking make on each other. You know, you welcome on board, Mr. Akim Alaka. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for this beautiful show and beautiful program. I recognize all of you. I will call names when I'm leaving. I will recognize you when I'm going. Hello. Thank you. Yeah, um, because at the moment I um, even I've made an application to the family court um, as uh, as a uh, unmarried father because I don't know how the court will see my marriage. We did it in the traditional way and did a religious wedding as well, but um, we do not have a marriage certificate and uh, we just had my non-marital misunderstanding and um, she has delivered it any parental responsibility and even access to my child. So um, I just got onto your program and I don't know if there is any um, advice that you gave. You have status in the United Kingdom, isn't it? No. She might want to use that against you. Yes, because she knows. Mm. And if you haven't got that right to be in the UK, the judge will not want to give the judgment in your favor. The judge will not, oh, okay. The, he, will, he or she will not want to give the judgment in your favor. Okay. Mm. So they will want to place the child in the best interest, in, uh, the, the child's best interest will want to be placed in the hands of the mother that has status for now. And that is why she's behaving in such a manner, because she knows you haven't got status. You can you can apply to court for that share. Yeah, you can apply. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and that one, that one would would they also because would they earn the responsibility? I want my name to be on my child's birth certificate. Where were you, right. where, where were where were you at the birth of the child? Why couldn't your name be there at, at the beginning? Because she went ahead to do it without telling me. So you have to spend money on DNA before you can get that through. And it takes two to tango because you really need to consent to, with that for you to go, for both yeah. of you to return back to the registrar to, to mm -hmm. amend birth certificate. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but with the parental responsibility, I um, just wanted to know if that's my chances of getting it considering my status as well. You should be able to have it. Have you put in an application to the Secretary of State at, at, at anything at all? 
Have you submitted application to the Secretary of State by any chance? So you want to get the responsibility done before the discretionary leave, or you want to do the discretionary leave before the responsibility apply before you apply to court? Um, yeah, I wish to get a, a responsibility so I can add it to it. So that's what yeah. you are. So invariably, you you want to rely on that responsibility before you can make application to the Secretary of State. Yes, please. You know you have to be careful because if you have not been maintaining that child, that application will fail. And um, you have that in the document. Is it documented? Yes, I have printed my bank statement. Ever since she come home, she gave birth. I've been really how, how old is this child in question? Um, just two months. Oh, it's only two months. Okay, okay. Yeah. So why are you not allowed to see this child two months old? Um, have you not we... Have you not been there through pregnancy? Sorry. Have you not been involved in it with the lady through pregnancy period? Uh, uh, Mm -hmm. She called the police that she doesn't want me in the house, so I should leave. Um, so the police came and they said that uh, she says um, she doesn't want me in the house, so um, they would advise me to leave. So I left, and that was it. I left, and um, when I left, I... I but but there, was some, there was an argument then, isn't it? She um, she asks you she asks you out. Yeah, from the house. When we are from oh, okay. She asks you to leave the house rather you mean. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mm. That's what I mean. Okay. Yeah. So um, basically, you no know, since then, I mean, I've been in touch trying to reconcile and all mm. that, but um, she doesn't want to have anything to do with with mm. that. But um, nevertheless, I've been sending her money. I've been sending her emails to check up on her and my child. Mm. That's good. Mm. And being checking up. Uh, and um, she just wants to register the child with her without letting me know. And I found out that she's registered a child, but she's afraid to tell people that she's registered a child in her name. Mm. You know, she, she doesn't have a spare name. Um, so she used the name that she's using um, for the child, and she gave the child her own name. You know, and I've been quiet about all these things. Mm. She knows your status and that is why she wants to use it against you. That's just the that's just it. Yeah, 
you know? But, 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 but the thing is, if, if she wants to play the immigration card, I'm not, I'm not a bad person, you know, but um, uh, for me, I'm not a bad person at all. Were you, were you living together previously as man and woman? Yeah, we lived together as husband and wife. Okay. No, 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 as man and woman, because you haven't got married certificate. Oh, okay, over here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and, um, and, and, and the thing is, if she wants to play that card, I can play it equally with her because she got her British passport through the seat. She made false representation on her British passport. And if she wants to play that card, I can play it equally with her because... There are some things that I will not allow you to say on my program. I have a very sensitive line and as such I will continue to control my line in a way that nobody can affect it. Don't forget that I am a legal practitioner, I am a solicitor. I'm being watched scrutiny under both laws in the United Kingdom on the, on the, under both professional um, ethics, you know, OIC, Office of the Immigration Commissioner and the Solicitor's Regulation Authority, the Law Society. So. Um, I would advise anyone that wants to call in to make sure that they have a smooth and recognized language to use on my platform. You know, once I hear that the language is not corresponding to what the society wants to hear, um, the public interest is paramount on my line. So I will, I will cut the line off, I'm afraid so. Hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening to you, my dear. Thank you. Sorry, I cut you off at the same time when I was cutting the other line off. Um, You're welcome. Normally, um, my name is Emma Bimbola, and um, normally I listen to programs on Facebook, but I, I try to avoid commenting on them. But on this particular one, um, I've got a couple of points that I, I found to be corrected. Like the last caller, it is the All these people, both male and female, will call and then say good thing about themselves. Hmm. You understand? Yes. So many relationships, you will start it because you know you want papers of that person, whereas you have somebody else that, uh, that is hidden elsewhere. Hmm. I happen to be a, a lady that I can sell some young people. Hmm. Most of these men or these women are looking for papers hmm. and they will do anything at that point but Emma uh, Binuma, even the law for God, it will definitely come out one day to realize with me there is somebody else somewhere. Mm. So if the woman now turns around, she doesn't put your name on the certificate, the man mm. turns around, doesn't act the way you should act, mm. who, who is to be blamed? Mm. Let us be very, very careful about this matter. Mm. You started this thing because you know you wanted papers of this person. Mm. And at the end of the day, you don't turn around. There mm. are so many men that will come into the country and date white, uh, white uh, uh, ladies mm. because they want paper. Like on your forum now, mm. I'm reading about mm. this, um, this, is it Jimmy or Aman? One mm. of them, um, he, their wife and their daughter is speaking adult. Find out when you went to that country to start with, you in Holland or wherever. Mm. Why did you take this married to uh, this white person or this this lady mm. to get papers? And later, if you realize the person that you left in Nigeria or back home is still there for you, of course, everybody blood runs in our veins. Mm. And the second matter is. Somebody was making a comment there that people that mm. raise single parent, uh, sing, uh, single parenting, blah blah blah. That's mm. completely wrong. Mm. Totally wrong. Mm. If I should mention my surname, you would know you, you yourself as a lawyer. You would know my family very well. Mm. I went back to Nigeria and worked under the Fashola regime. Mm. Fashola himself, but I told himself was raised by a single mother, and it turned out to be successful. His wife said it, my namesake, publicly, that she too was raised by a single mother, and she was successful. And I myself, I am raised by a single mother, mm. and I am successful, and I'm raising three children. My first born is a chef, qualified chef, in this UK. Mm. And I thank God for it. It, yes, my own situation is totally different in the sense that I'm a widow, but nevertheless, I did not remarry. I was concentrating on my 
children. And my children were raised by a single mother hmm. for the past 14 years, and they are well. So people should be very, very careful. Hmm. In a relationship, it takes two to tango. It takes two. There is no any stupid woman or any stupid man that does not want a relationship, that doesn't want to be with a partner, that does not want to be happy. But you need to be very, very careful what you started with. I have a matured friend, right? she's looking for a husband. Anytime she meets guys, she tells them straight away, you know what, Mofe settle down me. Hmm. I don't want hanky-panky, which is true. If she told you that from the onset, and then you, knowing behind your mind that you want something else, and you now deceive her and then double into it, and later, you now start playing hanky-panky, of course, I, I personally will advise her. Hmm. I personally will advise her, chop him off. Hmm. If the child grows up and wants to know their father, yes, so be it. Hmm. But we should be very, very careful. These people are just making a mockery of the whole thing. Oh, I told uh, she was pregnant. And we just had a childish argument. Hmm. Excuse me, madam. Childish argument, especially when a woman is pregnant. Hmm. We all, you and I have been through it. Hmm. You understand? When a woman is pregnant, at that moment, she needs every patient, every pampering. Hmm. Why, you think, why would you call a police on a... Yes, there are some women. Yes, I am owing up to that. Because I do counsel people. There are some women that are so wicked. Hmm. There are some men that are too wicked. But if your conscience is clear that you've done the right thing, leave the rest to God. Hmm. I have another situation that I'm dealing with. The lady called home office to say, this man that has given um, birth to his son, make sure until the son is 18 mm. before you give him his final paper. Mm home -hmm. office now told the guy, you know, they wouldn't lie in this country. They told the guy, look, there is a clause on your case mm -hmm. until when the child is 18. But because this guy, I told him, mm. play your own part. Be truthful and then plead for God to intervene. Hmm. You can't believe it. Within two years of him paying the rightful bill to that woman, doing his door as Baba, hmm. I swear to God, they released this paper out of nowhere. He didn't ask for it. Hmm. So please, both male and female, they should not just come on show and then be speaking rubbish. I've been in this country for almost 30 years. So hmm. I know how it's wrong. Hmm. Some people should not just call. I just had a, a, a childish argument and that's it. Everybody has argument. Madam, you and I, we have argument with our children, even with yes. our well, men too. Okay. We don't, because of that, chop them out. It's good for them to call and then make their case. Don't put a plaster in and then make it look good. But mm -hmm. let's, please, let, let's have uh, the fear of God in our mind. All these women are not stupid. Hmm. Neither are the men. Hmm. Everybody, the way you want them to treat you, treat people that same way as well. And trust me, God will reward you abundantly hmm. where you don't even expect. Thank you very much, madam, for listening to me. Thank, Thank you, you so much, ma. Thank you so much. I am grateful. Right, then, Thank bye you. Bye-bye. Bye. bye. Wow, wow, that's, that, that's so much happening. And I am grateful that we have people of uh, caliber and uh, classic around listening, you know, people of uh, well learned from another discipline or even within our discipline. I am grateful that we have them contributing into this um, topic and especially for them to be listening on this um, platform. And this is why I want to encourage people from time to time. Let us try to, yeah. let us try, please hold on. Let us try to okay. let us try to, let us try to support ourselves when we are on this platform. Let other people benefit from it. Let them enjoy this. Let them understand that we that are here, we know why we are here. We know what we want to gain from the topic. We know why we are listening to the program, and we want others to benefit as well. And that's the whole idea. We should correct our language that we use on 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 this particular platform, you know, because at the end of the day, this program blog is taken away by the some of the government press starters to have a look at 
social services for this part of particular topic social services will want to look at the comments of the society the community they want to see what you are thinking the government will want to see what you are thinking it could help to amend the law it could help you know so we need to put in our comments correctly thank you sir please go ahead okay thank you very much sir. Well, I want to apologize earlier. I think I was getting a bit emotional. Yeah, um, that said. Um, my sister, the one who spoke, has made a very good comment. But, you know, not everybody will marry because of papers. Some will marry out of true love. You get it. Um, it could be so unfortunate that you probably might have met with true love, but that doesn't have it or have it. You understand? In my case, I'm studying. So it's not like in some countries, like one family. You get it. So I think I, I will promote true love and also to be transparent in terms of this kind of thing. You get it. So my question, um, well, uh, should I go ahead with the phone carry responsibility? Because I've been doing my money, I still provide money for this woman and this child and all that. Go ahead. Yeah, so I'm asking, should I go ahead? Any advice that I go ahead with the, with the, with the application, parental responsibility? Um, you want to go ahead, ahead to do what? To make an application for the parental responsibility. It's on a 50 50 of success because of your status in the United Kingdom. Oh, okay. Um, but you should proceed with it. Proceed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks. All right. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hello. Hello, man. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, okay. Hello. Yes. Ekale mau. Ekale. Yes, man. Okay. Hello, ma'am. Okay, yes, go ahead. Oni, I know I'm not going to go to the house. Say, Miss Mommy, it's a little bit. Okay. 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 Oh, and Nigeria. In the one piece. So, what's next in the game? You can buy it for one TV buy. No one got pay or commit to me or more TV. Or commit to me. For more than eight years. If you want, you can get a lot more. Or more than eight years. Or more than eight years. Or more than eight years. See, but the first thing is, or what you want to do about the year. But take your responsibility out of my head. Once you go, you go, you need to tell me why. Okay. Hey, mommy. Yeah. Now, you know, I'm crazy. I want you to leave my way and go to the city. Okay. Oh, that's, oh, that's, you know, my ass is tried elsewhere. Was he a single man when you are, when you are going out with him? Was he single? Hello? I think that line is off because it's calling from Italy, you know, so the line is off. I am going to be out of the, I'm going to bring the program to an end shortly because of the time constraint, you know. <laughs> Hold 
Yeah, hold on, just hold on. Please go ahead. Yeah, good evening, sir. Good, good evening, sir. Yeah, uh, I'm really happy about this topic because I've been thinking of calling you. Okay. Thank God you brought this up. What I mean, what one of your mind is here. All you are Auntie, I want to ask you a question because this is a situation I'm in now. Hmm. I'm a British citizen. Okay. Oh, I should be more about my baby kid early due to problems I had during, you know, when I had a baby. My question is that because the, the man is, was not there during the pregnancy, he mm. wasn't supportive. So now I want to go and do the baby registration. And my problem now is, I, he said he doesn't want to come with me, he doesn't even care about it. So me, one more, because of the picture of the baby, I want to put my father's son and my son name on the birth certificate. Because I want to actually block him out of my life, because I don't want him So my question is, what is the best thing for me to do? Should I use a double barrier? Because his name is not going to be on the battered kit. Obvious, because he's not going with me. But if I go to the lane, I'm going to go to the battered kit for mommy, because I'm going with And I try to help him, because I have a good job. But I don't know what to do, because our family will go all the around from me, but we took part of the day. We can't go to the issue, but he wasn't there for me. You see, I I appreciate your concern. Yeah. But the the question in question, yeah, the question in question, it's not something to do with lawyer. Okay. Unless that lawyer wants to destroy your family life. Okay. The question in question is between you yourself and your thinking. So you need to sit down, make up your mind. The, the pain is, t is still hot now. The pain is still hot. Oh, she's fresh and it's still fresh. But sometimes women were very weak sexually. Sometimes we can be very weak sexually. After all pain may have gone, and it comes around to beg you, apologize, prostrate, and do necessary things. Be be believe me, you will forget the pain. So don't take a rational decision that you may regret later on in life. And think about the interest of the child in your hand. And sit back. There is a pra adage in my language as a Yoruba woman. So relax. Relax carefully. There is no way you can insert child's name behind your back. There is no way. So don't put anything inside that blank inside that bracket. Leave it blank. Your father is not your husband, and your father didn't impregnate you. I would rather say leave it blank until things get settled. You are a British citizen. 
There is no shame in it. Leave it blank, I said. Don't put your father's name there because you will not be able to amend it later on in life. Yeah, go and re go and put the child's name there with the child's father's son name. Don't put your daddy's name there. It's not your husband. And the col column for the father, let it be blank. I don't want to give you advice on this, but I'm, I'm tempted. I'm pushed by the spirit to talk. And I'm talking affirmatively, so I'm grateful. So don't put your daddy's name on that child's name. It's not the father of the child. Your dad is your dad. Please. Yeah? No problem. Thank you. Thank you, bye. Thank you, bye. I won't take further calls for now. I want to listen to music. I want us to relax ourselves. I think we are under pressure with our calls coming in drastically, you know. It is not the father, the granddad. The granddad cannot as assume responsibility on the child, unless on death of the father, or the on death of the of both parents. So, could possible? Cause to put key or bring yes, to put that deal on load or record that deal on fellow to give birth certificate. Could possible? It's not possible. So don't put your daddy's bad name on the child's name. Please, everybody, to one time begging. You are insulting yourself in the first instance. So don't do it. Put the name of the father for the child as his son name and leave the father's uh, details blank. And then you carry on next time when things get resolved. By putting your own daddy's name there, you are insulting yourself. So don't do it. to appreciate you i want to love you guys you know from the bottom of my heart for loving this program and coming on board i cannot but mention names you know but before I start mentioning names to acknowledge you guys let me go into law smoothly and when i want to come into law i will switch off the um the music because i want us to concentrate on the law The question is that, can I legally keep my child away from his father if there is no court order? Can you keep the child away from the father if, if there is no court order, there is no marriage certificate? 
If there is a good reason, for example, you reasonably fear for the child's safety when his father, then it may not, from his father, then it may not count against you. If and when you go to court, if you're doing it just to punish the father for good reason or bad, a lot of judges will in fact hold it against you in deciding custody and visitation. The best thing to do, you can see what I'm saying, I'm reading. The best thing to do is go to court and get an order setting out custody and visitation and child support. That way there is no guessing. So if you are having a problem and you think you are struggling to take care of your child, you cannot keep the child away from visitation of his father or her father. The only thing you can do is to go to court and get an order so that they can make they can set it clear on child cost uh, responsibility responsibility and then you can be, you can have shared responsibility custody visitation and then financial support that can be set clearly on the order you know so if 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 you are not doing that then you are going to be at loss there is no doubt in my mind you are definitely going to be at loss if you don't do that so we need to get things right you have to get court order before you can deprive a child to see his father you need to get court order until there is court order to the contrary or married parents do not have equal rights so that is marriage certificate up there but where there is no marriage certificate there is a problem a mother will presume the custodial parent until a court order establishes otherwise so unmarried parents will not have equal rights like a spouse one that have marriage certificate so obviously the court will have to decide for them, so they must go to court. Until there is court order, you cannot have that equal right if there is no marriage certificate. So you need to take order from court. Don't take law into your hands. When it comes to the issue of child and parent and father and mother, you need to, you need to visit court and take order. And that is all I have for, you for, for now for today. I appreciate all of you. I love you guys. But take court order before you make a decision depriving your child from seeing the father. It is important. If you don't do that, you're going to be at the losing end because the judge might hold it against you in court. And that is my opinion, and that is the legal opinion. That is the expert opinion in this situation. Don't take, don't hold child from his, from seeing his father unless there is court order. Let court decide the parental, the share responsibility, and set it clear for both of you. And that's what I have for you. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much, and have a blessed weekend. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Please share this program. Share this program so much. It's so important to my heart. Share this program and let people benefit from it. Let others benefit. Thank you so much. Blessed weekend ahead. Bye for now.